Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another quick tutorial here. This one is going to be on how to make the wake behind different ships. Basically, basically different water effects is, uh, is what we're going to be teaching here today. Should be a pretty quick video. Uh, anything organic, guys, is very, very hard to teach. It's something that's going to take a lot of trial and error and a lot of practice. I still have not got it down pat. And uh, every time I do my wakes on uh, my ships, it changes uh, ever so slightly or quite drastically, depending on what type of ship that I'm using. The big thing that I want to cover in this tutorial today is just some things to think about while you work on your wakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of them in my world and uh, then we're going to drop into another world and look at a few more and then I'm going to kind of show you what I use, my techniques and things that I think about and how I kind of lay it out as I do the wakes. Alright so anyways there's three things to think about when making the wake behind your ship. Um, one is the size of the ship. Two is the speed of the ship. And three, which uh, can be uh, questionable, is how much force is being exerted from the motor. So say for these tugboats, for instance, they're not going very fast, they're not very big, but they're putting a lot of force against the side of this amphibious assault uh, ship here. So there's going to be a lot of wake, there's going to be a lot of motion behind the tugboat. You're going to have a lot of raised portions above the water surface. I should actually have probably a little bit more right back here behind the tugboat uh, but this actually turned out pretty good and I didn't really want to mess with it now this one out here now I did do a copy and paste and this was when I first started doing my wakes this should actually be less there shouldn't quite be that much wake behind it uh, and it should taper off a lot a lot more um, but it is the same wake as that but because the tugboat here is wider than say like one of these smaller tugboats uh, the wake off to the sides is going to be uh, a little bit wider also so again the shape of your ship is going to determine the wake and again this one here this was back when I first started it. I didn't have any wake around the front of the ship and I'm going to show you some here in my next world uh, where the the wake is a lot better and it's and it's more formed around the ship the little small ones over here a little small tugboat same thing as I don't have the wake in the front of it but because it is a smaller type ship you're not going to have as much wake around it. Uh, one thing we we don't have in Minecraft, and you guys know, is uh, high uh, high seas or you know you know a lot of current around the ships itself. Uh, so you're not going to get some of the actual real life water effects that obviously you know you would get in, in real life. You're not going to get them in Minecraft, and it's going to be very very difficult to recreate. Um, actually, if you look at a ship in real life or a boat going through the water, you're going to get uh, you know, like a triangle forming from the bow of the ship going back uh, almost 45 degree angles or slightly less as it pushes through the water. Uh, again, uh, you could try to do that in Minecraft. I don't think it looks as good. I've actually tried it on a few of my ships uh, and, and it just it looks weird uh, because the water is flat. Um, it just It just doesn't turn out quite right. But again, that's something you can experiment with. That's something I'm sure I will experiment with further down the road. But anyways, let's jump into another world and look at a few more wakes. All right, guys, so as this loads up, there's a lot of stuff here. This is <laughs> this is my water world, uh, so it takes a little bit longer to load. But this is a, a, a nice little area to look at several different things that's going on here uh, in comparison uh, with my Arleigh Burks and, of course, aircraft carrier, probably going to be one of the biggest things that you're going to try to put a wake around. And, uh, and it is very, very time-consuming, um, obviously, because of the size of it. But some of the things that I experimented with these is the Arleigh Burks are a lot skinnier. Uh, they're more streamlined, and uh, they, they, go th they cut through the water a lot, uh, a lot better than, say, like the tugboat that we just looked at or the carrier that we're going to look at here in just a minute. Uh, the front, like I said, is, is a sharper V. It, it slices through the water, uh, so you're not going to get quite as much wake at the front unless you add a lot of speed to it. Um, these are probably you know like a like a lower speed. Um, you get a little bit of splash from the bow moving up and down here at the front, and uh, and I wouldn't go more than one or two, maybe three layers at the most. Again, depending on the size of the, sh size of the ship, and we'll look at the carry here in just a minute, uh, and then how quickly the uh, the splash will subside. Again, is uh, something you'll experiment with. 
again, uh, you know how much how much water force is is being exerted from the ship as it bounces and splashes away from the ship, and how fast it is moving. These here again are at like a lower speed, so it, it hits and then trickles off very very slowly down the side. So you can tell with these, they're not moving very fast through the water, or they're not appearing to move very fast through the water. And then behind it, you can see it breaks up very very quickly. And it's it's relatively flat against the surface. Uh, there's there's no raised blocks uh, above the uh, the water surface itself. Like by, back over here, I'll look here in just a second. Uh, so again, these ships on this side are are basically a, uh, the water effect is showing that the ship is going a little bit slower than uh, you know say the carrier over here, which is you know f full on <laughs> oh, full speed ahead. Uh, I again experimenting with a lot of different things. Uh, when I first put these in, so this is kind of garbled. It's it's not the best example, and I'm sure it'll be something that I work on in the future. But again, because the carrier is so large, you're going to get a very large wake behind it, uh, especially right behind uh, the you know the props, uh, especially if they are moving very very fast. Um, I can speak from experience being on a carrier out in the middle of the ocean and uh, and doing sea trials we were doing uh, full speed turns and uh, full speed aheads uh, you will get some pretty massive waves behind a carrier more than what people would expect um, uh, almost a rooster tail I would say it's, it's pretty damn impressive uh, and that's kind of what I was going for here and it just didn't it didn't turn out but the thing that I, I wanted to point out on this here is the width of the wake itself and how much force is being exerted out the back of the carrier. It's, it's going to be a lot higher, probably one, two, three blocks high. You're going to start getting into full blocks uh, instead of over here where we're using slabs, uh, you know, to kind of, you know, show that it's really, really spitting water out and it's really moving and it's moving a lot of the water. Another thing I want to mention too is as the water disperses behind you, we talked about this a minute ago with the um, with the tugboats, is the water going out at 45 degree angles, you know, starting, you know, at the at the bow of the ship, uh, the water would start trickling back. Um, you know, you, you can experiment with different lines coming off the ship, um, you know, for, for the different wake going off to the side. Again, I don't think it quite works but I'll experiment with it. So instead is what I do and something else that also happens in the water is it should get wider as it goes as, as it goes back. I didn't do a really great job on the carrier. This should actually start going out at, a, at wider angles and I'm going to show you here on one more before I uh, kind of get into the, like the tutorial part where I start putting some blocks down. Uh, but the water should actually instead of coming straight back from the ship you see because I started tapering it here and then way back here it just really starts to dissipate and disappear but it should start to taper off uh, gives it a lot better effect now how long again will the wake be uh, again it, it all varies depending on the size of the ship how fast it's moving it all comes back to the, the first three things that I told you uh, you're gonna have to experiment but it's it, you should be at least double the length of the ship so here you can see the, the Arleigh Burke the wake is you know at least double the length of the you know of this ship it's out in the middle of the ocean um, if you make it any shorter it's just not it's not gonna look right um, in my opinion even if even if this is moving slow you're still gonna have wake behind it because it's such a large uh, you know a large vessel all right I'm gonna jump straight ahead and I'm gonna go, we're gonna look at the most latest ship that I've done and check that wake out really quick and then I'll show you how to start kind of laying it out actually one thing I forgot before I go up there I want to <laughs> actually I want to show the front of the carriers uh, again, because they're so big and the front is moving a lot, you're going to have a lot more splash, a lot more spray around the front. The blocks are going to come up a lot higher. Uh, something also to think about is how sharp this comes out. Uh, so like uh, certain battleships, especially in like an Arizona or something like that, where it comes out uh, kind of wide and then uh, cuts back. Where the water hits the side of the ship in here, it's going to roll over and kind of splash out. And again, that's what creates that, uh, that 45 degree angle or that you know, 30 degree angle that comes off the ship way up here by the bow um, and, and like I said I don't do it on mine maybe down the road I will experiment but right about here is where it's gonna cut and start going out that way uh, so if you want to experiment with that yourself go ahead but again you can see this uh, you know the wake itself comes out you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen about thirteen to fourteen blocks away from the ship but if you fly back and look at it in scale to the ship it looks good 
uh, you know, versus over here with the early Burke, it only comes out about four or five blocks away from the ship. All right, so anyways, we covered that. Let's go down here. All right, guys, as this loads up, we'll go to my latest build, which is the uh, USS Kid. These are my Fletcher class destroyers. Uh, these uh, are out a little bit further away from my carriers. And uh, as what I've done here, again, I'm experimenting a little bit more with the wake. Uh, so down here, if you get closer to the ship, you can see where I started sinking uh, the slabs down in, you know, lower than the water. So here is uh, is lower than, you know, this part of the water to give it kind of that, that bouncy roll that comes down the side of the ship. Again, as we get better, as we work more and more on our wake, uh, there's, you know, some different things that you can experiment with and uh, and hopefully we get better together. But anyways, as you can see, it, can start, it starts to taper out and, uh, and fade way back here and, uh, and you can see that the wake itself starts to thin out about back here. It should have started thinning out probably about right in here. Um, but I got, a I got a little lazy on this one. <laughs> and I used uh, MC Edit once I got some of it done. And I just started copying and pasting it and, uh, and laying it out. But the things that I want you to pick up off of this one is, again, work on the taper going out the back. And experiment with the height of the blocks. And we're going to talk about materials here in just a minute, guys. Um, but work on the height of the block stuff. You can see here, I'm actually a full block down, and you can see a, you know, a good section of the back part of the boat here. Uh, and then one more thing, if you can see it underwater um, with the shaders, coming off the props itself, uh, I've, I've actually got the bubbles and the water movement coming off of that and shooting up to the surface. Again, you don't see it. Uh, again, depending on whether you've got shader, uh, shaders on, your texture pack, and things like that, you might not even need that. I went a little ape shit here, uh, and actually I think I did it on the carriers too. There's just a bunch of water coming out from underneath the carriers. It was a lot, it was a lot of copy and paste, um, and you can see it if you get up close, and if you're obviously if you're further away, you can't see it. Uh, so again, you can experiment with stuff like that. Uh, it all gives a different effect for each different ship, and also it gives you better skills to use down the road because you're learning different things. Uh, so anyways, the materials that I use, again, is going to be texture pack specific. If you're using default texture pack, obviously you're not going to have as many choices, but you're going to want to stick to something white, light blue, dark blue, aqua color, water color. Look at some pictures and, and kind of see... Uh, you know what uh, you know what colors awake actually is uh but in in this texture pack this uh, you know is, is you know a really nice blue so i can use just about any kind of blue or aqua color and white and it will set really nice in contrast with this water or the texture of this water so here i'm using uh different stone slabs i even have i think this is my diamond block is that my diamond block yeah my block of diamond which is a really nice effect because it looks like it's got some white uh, spray foam in it mixed in with the water. Uh, I even tried using glass blocks uh, back here when I first started doing this. Didn't quite turn out right in my texture pack just because I've got connected textures and uh, some of the glass just it didn't look quite right with the, with the water. Maybe in your texture pack it will. So experiment with uh, glass pieces too. Uh, but mostly, the, the biggest thing, it's, it's made out of slabs, especially the smaller ships, battleships, you know, stuff like, you know, this size here. The majority of it is made out of slabs. Uh, so is what we're going to do is we're going to fly over here, and <laughs> this is going to be the shortest part of the tutorial. <laughs> That's why I said it's, it's really hard to teach organic things. It comes with practice. I, I've been doing this for a long, long time. Uh, I just started adding wakes to my ship just, just probably two years ago, uh, and, and it makes them look a lot better. And as you can see, I'm getting better with each wake design. So I, I can't really I can't really show you step by step, this is how it's done for every ship because every ship is so different. But usually what I do is I start at the front and I gauge, and this is that iron block, but that looks weird. <laughs> Might need to change this one. Uh, but anyways, you look at your ship and kind of determine... Uh, you know, the three factors that I said in the beginning. How big is it? You know, what's the, what's the shape of it? How fast is it going? And how much force is it actually exerting uh, out, you know, out behind uh, the ship itself? This one's fairly small, so the wake's not going to be really high. I, obviously, I don't want to bring the wake clear up here uh, because it just it's not going to look right. The water's flat out here, and then all of a sudden you've got water splashing over the front of the, you know, front of this little boat. Uh, so I want to take maybe a third of that and work in this area right here, kind of stacking the blocks... And it takes it takes a while because you know you can't you, obviously you just can't set blocks out here like you do on grass. So you want to start kind of 
pushing the uh, pushing the slabs around, breaking them loose, uh, and just making it very very random on how you lay the blocks down. And the more random it looks, uh, the better it will turn out. And again, right in here where the uh, where the, the the shape of the bow starts to cut the water, you want a lot of water kind of rolling up. So you're definitely going to want some full blocks in there and maybe some splash action behind it. Something like this. And then think about that rolling pattern that I just talked about. So you're going to get this this shape right here, especially right off the front where, where it initially cuts that water. You're going to usually have a big roll and then the water will kind of tumble behind it and then it should level out flat. And so you can go something like this and then go back and then just randomly cut. There's There's no... <laughs> there's, there's no wrong way to do this guys there, there really isn't cut where you want add height where you want and add width where you want but the easiest thing to do is just to start laying them down and then cut them out like this so you can start getting this wake and then work around the back of the ship again up in here you're going to have a lot of a lot of motion a lot of wake some height again maybe a little splash right there you want to fill this in really good and maybe a couple of them above the water really close to the uh, you know the ship right here but I wouldn't go crazy because this really isn't a big a big vessel it's it's pretty small it's going to exert uh, a fair amount behind it and you know we don't have really high seas here so we don't really have to worry about uh, getting a lot of height behind it and we're just going to kind of cut some things out something like that and then start to taper it out pretty quick because this is a smaller boat and is what I'm usually is what I do is I find the center of the ship and then I just take one let me stretch out my reach here and for those that are wondering I'm using uh, more commands uh, mod uh, for that and I'm just gonna go here and don't worry about if you just you know if you shoot them all over the place you're gonna start taking these out anyways and usually I'll, I'll go back and judge the distance how far I want the wake again at least at least twice the length of the uh, the ship you're working with all right so right there that that looks probably good for this size of vessel and right here at the end it's gonna really really start to taper off so you're gonna get just a couple little stray ones and that's gonna get a little bit thicker here and then all of a sudden it's gonna start thickening up and you're not gonna cut it as much so you can see where it's you know once you start getting a pattern start getting this filled in here uh, it will look much better let me get rid of those two there maybe just an oddball one floating out here and then I'll look here off the, uh, the side of the ship and start working on that angle that I was talking about and I'll just start throwing throwing down my slabs and bringing this out and this will probably fade out about the same area it looks good uh, if you take it even further sometimes and make them very very thin uh, out out here at the back and again you just start punching holes make it very random leave it a little bit thicker don't punch as many holes out here and you can see it as it as it starts to you know go backwards it starts to taper out and remember you want to start to taper right about here I'm gonna need a little bit more probably here and here I'm gonna make this come out just a little bit further and out this way I think this will look good just like this oops I'm not a little bit too far away there and again and then go back and thin it out you won't have any double ones back here and same with that get rid of this that and this is going to come down the side and maybe one drops there and a couple little stray ones out here something like this there we go so you can see how it rolls off the back of the ship spins up and then tapers off and dissipates as it goes out and then you know think about things if you want it to turn uh, take that center line and, uh, and use something like uh, the plots website and make a big circle as your guideline and then just start forming that foam and that spray uh, and, you know in the wake of the ship around that you know that that circle pattern that you've laid in the water there's a lot of different things you can do here guys uh go look at my sinking of the bismarck i think it is uh some really really awesome water effects in that uh, I, st I started messing around with um, water plumes from the salvos and things like that splashing up in the water uh, those are made with cobwebs and of course I used MC edit just because it makes it a lot easier and also world edit where I can uh, take the brush and paint big circles 
of those uh, cobwebs because otherwise placing those one at a time would be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you guys on the console are kind of crippled when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, but you can still experiment with smaller water plumes and stuff uh, of that nature. Uh, like submarines, torpedoes going under the water. Uh, you could go down like one or two uh, blocks under the water and bring some uh, some uh, wake out behind that. would look really, really awesome. And then a little bit of spray on the surface uh, behind uh, you know the torpedo as it, as it you know comes up or whatever a lot of different ideas here that I'm trying to throw at you guys that you can think about it's not just ships that you can do this with um, you know just anything around the water that you want to add some effect uh, looks really good if you've got a rocky shoreline uh, and you want to kind of make it look like the water splashing against the shoreline it would take a lot of work uh, but you, and, and maybe some world edit you could paint it up against the rocks um, the, the water effect or the splash or the spray up against the water throw in some cobwebs and it looks like a lot of you know mist coming off it waterfalls you can do the same thing uh, at the bottom of your waterfalls that you're cutting into your landscaping uh, you can do uh, several big blocks at the bottom with the cobwebs at the bottom and make it look like it's spraying uh, if you check out my hovercraft videos uh, those are all air they, they don't actually you know sit down in the water so you're not going to get a wake per se from the vessel itself it's more of a spray of air pressure underneath and moving the water away from the vessel so i used m mainly cobwebs on those types of vessels um, so anyways that's it for this tutorial i know i said it was going to be short and it, it usually isn't uh, i like to go as in depth as i can and give you guys as many pointers as i can so that you can get better over time and that's that's what it takes it takes time guys i've been doing this for over six years and uh and every time i build something i learn something new i learn a new technique and i get better at it. i at least i think i do <laughs> and hopefully you will too that's the nice thing about this game is we, we can just keep building and building and building and we just keep getting better and coming up with newer and better things so hopefully that helps you out uh, with your wakes and your different water effects and things that you want to do. Um, if it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I put a lot of work on this stuff, uh, you know, to share with you guys. And, uh, and I want you to be better builders, too. Um, but that's it. Like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.